Hello, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines on this Twin Flame journey. Welcome to my channel. I am T. Erica Love. I am here to bring you all um, some messages in regards to this Twin Flame journey here for the next week. Okay. Um, these messages may or may not resonate with every Divine Masculine, every Divine Feminine um, that is on this twin flame journey here, okay? Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. If you find that these messages resonate, please give me a like, please subscribe, please share, please comment. I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Alright, so let's see what's going on here with Divine Masculines. And divine feminines on this twin flame journey for the next week here. Alright. For the next seven days. A seven is a spiritual number. Um so that's why we picked the number seven here. Y'all know I have seven children. Did you know that? Oh, there goes secret. Okay. Alright, y'all. Um, let's see. I'll do divine masculines first. Give me a Overall message for Divine Masculines um, on this twin flame journey here for the next week here. Overall message for Divine Masculines. Alright. So Divine Masculines, you got the flower here. Be honest with yourself here. Okay. So let's see. Okay, Divine Masculines, your overall message. We do ourselves a major disservice when we aren't truthful with ourselves. There is something you know to be true, yet you continue to ignore it. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. It's time for you to face reality, even if it makes you uncomfortable. No matter the outcome, it won't be nearly as bad as you think. So be honest with yourself, Divine Masculines, uh, for the next week here, okay? Alright, and let's see, Divine Feminines. What is your overall message? Alright, you got bitch fire again here, Divine Feminines. <laughs> So you're going to have to put your foot down here. I am getting, okay? So uh, that is number 16. So Divine Feminines for the next seven days. You got Bitch Fire stand up for yourself again here, okay? So there's no better way to say it. Someone in your life is trying to burn you at the stake. Maybe you didn't give them something they wanted or you didn't let them get away with their bad behavior. Either way, they're trying to ruin your reputation. Rest assured, your reputation will stay intact. Silence can be effective, but this is not the kind of situation. Get loud, Divine Feminines, and let them have a taste of your bitch fire here. So this is about you standing up for yourself uh, for the next week here, uh, Divine Feminines. Okay? All right. So let's um that give me you all overall energy here. Okay, divine masculines overall energy. Divine masculines in this twin flame journey here, overall energy for the next week. Who, who are you, Divine Masculines, for the next seven days, for the next week here? All right. Okay, Divine Masculines. Not famous here, all right. So, some divine masculines, you all could be famous here, you all could be moving towards uh, fame here. Maybe you all could be, um, 
maybe getting a lot of recognition here over the next week all right got hot nerd here divine masculines so um you all could be very hot uh very intelligent here all right we got rebel here so um going against the grain here doing as you please divine masculines for the next seven days okay you all got achiever here so you're going to be um focused and focus on achieving some things here okay all right let's see and you got player here so divine masculines you all um still could be maybe playing games here um you know, um, yeah, we're going to keep going and see what's going on, all right? So tell me about Divine Feminines for the next week here. Give me the overall energy of Divine Feminines for the next week. All right, got air here. So Divine Feminines, you all could be doing a lot of thinking, um, for the next week, okay? Um, being a lot in your head. Trying to create some things. You got visionary here. So, uh, looking towards the future. Um, thinking about what the future holds here. Um, standing up for yourself to keep working towards what you're wanting. All right? You got introvert here, divine feminines. So you all could um, be an introvert for the next seven days here. Um, wanting some quiet time, alone time here, keeping to yourself. You got the communicator here, Divine Feminines. So you all could be receiving some communication, uh, maybe being uh, talkative here for the next seven days. All right. And you got reunion here, all right? So you could be thinking about um, this reunion with your divine masculine here, okay? Communicating um, to someone about the twin flame journey here, all right? Okay? I don't know, looking and hoping um, to reunite with your divine masculine or, I don't know, let's see. All right, so let's give get some messages here for Divine Masculine first. Divine Masculines on this twin flame journey. Okay, Divine Masculines, you got new love or a new phase in love is beginning here. Okay, so um, you could be opening up for new love here or there's a new phase in love beginning here. Okay, you got new patterns. Alright, so do things differently, Divine Masculines. In order to bring health and vitality into your love life. So you need to start to do things differently here. Or this is what you are working towards. Um, new patterns here, okay, for the next week. You got mutual symbiotic. So this is a beneficial and balanced connection. Both partners have the same feelings, ideas, values, and shared life goals here. All right, so could be realizing this um, for the next week here, Divine Masculines. All right. Uh, you got sacred sexuality. So this connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy here. All right, so um, Divine Masculines, you could be realizing that for the next seven days here. You could be realizing that this is um, that your Divine Feminine is your energetic match here. Um, you could be wanting to do some things differently. Um, bring forth some new patterns, some new ways of doing things here. Uh, for some Divine Masculines, you could be meeting a new love here. All right. Okay. Messages for Divine Feminines. 
Got spiritual mission here. So this connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in higher realms. So divine feminines, you could be going through uh, maybe some spiritual lessons um, for the next seven days here. Okay. Um, could be realizing or could be needing to realize and understand that uh, this connection supports energy healing and you know um, so you could be working or moving towards healing here energetically okay yeah take a chance divine feminines you can't grow in your comfort zone stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe go for it so divine feminines um you could be um in this energy of ready to take the leap of faith here uh take a leap of faith take a chance here um or step out your comfort zone okay Trust in the divine here. Trust in the universe, which is the most high, okay? You got acceptance, so divine feminines. Accepting yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance. Please open up to the flow of things here, okay? You got soul imprints, so there's some unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritance that is affecting you uh, for the next week here for uh, divine feminines, all right? You got fragile heart, so your heart could be a bit fragile here. Um, you can be vulnerable and trust in this connection. Your fragile heart is safe, so your heart could be a bit fragile here, uh, Divine Feminist, for the next week. Okay, so that's why you want to stand up for yourself. Um, maybe if you need some time alone, um, or stepping out your comfort zone, do some things different. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's get um, Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. We're going to do Divine Masculines first. What are your thoughts, feelings, um, obstacles here, and desires for the next week? When it comes to the, your Divine Feminine on this Twin Flame journey. Okay, Divine Masculine, what are your thoughts towards your Divine Feminine here? For the next week, you got we are in this world when together here. Alright, so you feel, you could be feeling like you and your Divine Feminine is your thoughts towards your Divine Feminine. Um, Like y'all going through maybe um, same, the same similar things here. Um, having the same feelings, okay. Let's see, clarify the my masculine thoughts or the my feminines. My spirit is awake here, so divine masculines. Um, could be feeling, uh, yep, your thoughts towards your divine feminines. You're feeling like you are divine feminine. Uh, spirit is awake here, okay, and you could be trying to. Maybe you could be feeling that energetically here. Or uh, maybe Divine Feminine could be connecting to you through your thoughts. And you're starting to feel this here. Um, Alright, Divine Masculine, your feelings towards your Divine Feminine. Blue Flame Healing, cut negative cords of past life here. So, um... You could feel like your Divine Feminine is needed to still cut some negative cords from their past life here. Um, let's see, clarify Divine Masculine's thoughts and um, feelings. Yearning for the day to be together again, alright? So you're yearning for the day to be with your Divine Feminine. Um, and that is how you're feeling. You just need to, I guess, you wanting your Divine Feminine to be a beat bit patient here so you can work on cutting the negative cords um that you're connected to here uh for the next week okay so if i'm asking what are your obstacles 
got twin flames 777 here so it's stepping stones the universe is behind you in your twin flame journey and reading rooting for you to succeed watch for signs from your spirit guides here so this could be an obstacle divine masculine as you could uh it could be hard for you to uh be able to pick up on the signs that you are receiving here um um, you could feel like that God is not behind you or um, that the universe is not behind you in this journey here that you're on, you know, with your divine counterpart. You could be still trying to understand and realize what is going on here between you and your divine counterpart here. Clarify the obstacles. I hide my love from you. So divine masculine you still will be hiding um, your feelings, loves, and all that towards your divine feminine uh, for the next week. Okay. What are your desires here when it comes to this connection? Waiting for you to come back to me. So divine masculine, you are desiring. You're waiting for your divine feminine to come back to you. Okay. I feel safe in your arms. Everything melts away. So you are desiring. Um, this is... You're desiring to be next, close to, next to, um, touched by your divine feminine here, okay? But you could be hiding that, um, because you're still working on healing here, all right? You're still working on, um, awakening on a more spiritual level here, okay? All right, divine feminines, let's see. What are your thoughts here towards your divine masculine? The universe has our next move here. So you could be like relinquishing the control divine feminines. Um, just leaving it up to God, to the universe to set the tone here. Okay. Clarify your thoughts here divine feminines. Got twin flame 444. So at least one twin is on their correct journey to spiritual enlightenment it may represent the responsibility and practicality of our soul contract one is working to turn dreams and goals into reality so divine feminines you could be you know feeling like you're working you are working towards um bringing your dreams becoming more enlightened um Turning dreams into a reality here for the next seven days. And um, that's what you could be working towards. All right. Um, your feelings towards your divine masculine. I want to contact you here. So divine feminines, you could be wanting to reach out, contact your divine masculine. Um, that's your feelings here. Um, when I feel your presence, my soul is in extreme peace. So you're really wanting to... You're wanting in your masculine in your presence here. You're wanting to be able to f feel your masculine uh, tangibly here, okay? You got emerald green flame twin soul healing here, all right? So you're hoping, feeling that the masculine is going through uh, healing. But if you, whatever we're doing is going to match up, okay? Whatever you are, whatever is going on in the inside is going to show on the outside. And that's what you're going to attract here. Even on this journey here, if you start the healing, um, start healing here. Things will start looking up, moving forward. Whether this becomes a solidified, solidified, solidified connection or whether you just heal to start on a new journey here okay uh what are your obstacles here divine feminines wanted to tell you how i feel so this is your obstacle as well for the next week here um you want to tell your divine masculine how you feel, but you could not be, uh, you could be holding it in, not expressing it, okay? You got twin flame, one, two, three, four. I kept saying this last week, y'all, I promise. Okay, so the numbers, one, two, three, four, like, um, 
if my total was $21.31 or um, $12.43, you know, um, I kept saying one, two, three, four. So you may have felt stuck in a pre twin world, but now you may have met your twin and you must face it head on. A, di a direct translation of one, two, three, four in love is one thing to say three words for you, also known as I love you in shorthand. So uh, what could be your obstacles is you expressing uh, this to your divine masculine, could be one of your divine masculine, to express um, their love for you, all right? Within the next week here, uh, this could be, you know, stepping stone. This is an, um, a springboard here, you know? Things that needs to be worked on, okay? Because um, tell yourself that, I guess, Divine Feminines. Um, you know, I don't know. You got to feel it, all right? All right, so let's see your desires here, Divine Feminines. Got Autumn here, so this is in the fall. This fall is about um, harvest time, so you are desiring... Um, To start harvesting or reaping the benefits from this work, I feel that you have put in spiritually um, for sure divine masculine in this journey. Okay, you got a need to walk away, so you could be um, it's your desires. Some of you could be desiring to walk away here um, to bring forth healing and peace. Okay, could be. All right, twin flames are mirroring here. All right, so you could be desiring some space here for the next week here. All right, to continue work on the healing. Okay. All right, let's see. See what's going on in the between divine masculine and divine feminine. What's going on between you two for the next week? Out, what y'all think? Okay, I was gonna keep it. All right. So what's going on now between divine masculines and divine feminines on this twin flame journey here? All right, got the two of swords and the knight of cups here. So there's some painful decision that still needs to be made. Um, Okay, bl blocked emotions, uh, stalemate energy here between divine masculines and divine feminines for the next seven days here, okay? So, um, someone is still unable to make a clear and decisive decision here, all right? <laughs> really? I, I don't know. This... Okay, action here. You got tower moment. So there will be some sudden changes um, and divine intervention here. Some destruction of some sort here. Things, um, sudden changes. Okay, you got the chariot here. So um, having a willpower to, all right, do some soul searching. All right, so divine masculine or divine feminines. Well, the action that will be taken for the next seven days. There's going to be sudden changes here within this connection. All right, um, and somebody is going to be moving forward. Um, maybe um, trying to decide what they're wanting to do with this hermit in this chariot. Okay, uh, maybe still being a bit stuck here with the chariot and the hermit because it's like um, wanting to move forward but still kind of stuck doing some soul searching here. All right, okay. Okay, outcome here, you got the Nine of Cups, so the wish fulfillment. 
um, happiness and contentment here. All right. Um, but somebody in the connection could be with this Eight of Swords, feeling mentally trapped, um, having a lot of fear, feeling um, mentally overwhelmed, okay, when it comes to this wish fulfillment, okay. When it comes to you feeling content here, it could be a bit off balance, okay. Um, got the King of Pentacles. Uh, so, I don't know, it's Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine here. When it comes to, if you both are the protectors here, the providers, separately within your own uh, uh, separate world here, uh, maybe some type of joy and happiness is going to bring some type of fear and anxiety here. Um, it could be in regards to somebody being a protector here. This King of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to get some clarity. Okay. Clarifying situation, action, outcome for divine feminines and divine masculines. For the next week. Alright, so clarifying the situation for these twin flames. That gate is open. So take the leap of faith. Um, walk through the gate here. So the gate is open. It is time for um, one of you all, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, to take the leap of faith here. Um, got Divine Protection here. So you are um, divinely protected here. All right. So somebody is situation here is ready to take the leap of faith uh, and know that you are divinely protected. Okay. All right, so we got many suitors here. Okay, so um, divine masculine or divine feminines could be still trying to decide which one stands out from the crowd. Is it the karmic? Is it divine feminine? Um, the both of you, divine feminines, you could be asking yourself the same. Um, which one stands out from the crowd? from the crowd is it your karmic is it my divine masculine here okay so um be thinking about all the many suitors and um be ready to take this leap of faith here okay see action got proposal here so um and insecurities okay so the action in regards to this proposal you're wanting, I guess this uh, communication that you're wanting, um, there's still divine masculine or divine feminine is going through some insecurities, okay? So let go of the negative experiences of the past, all right? So um, you got hurtful words here, all right? So uh, there could be, could have been some hurtful words between you two. Um, one of you all could be going through things, the insecurities because of some hurtful words, some things that have been said here, um, could be doing this soul searching or having a willpower to move forward, uh, the tower, the sudden changes could have been maybe arguments or some, some things that you have been going through, uh, it causes some sudden changes, which cause some insecurities, okay, so this is causing you to do some soul searching, all right, um, having a willpower to find yourself, okay, outcome, got release and let go here, so, um, Release and let go what is causing the mental, you're feeling mentally entrapped, okay? You got children here. So, um, just spending time with your children here. You could be, by the end of seven days, just uh, focusing on being this provider 
for your children here. Uh, you got uncharted territory, divine masculine, divine feminines. So this is a new level of unconditional love here. All right. You got control here. So this is about um, you're relinquishing control. Somebody is feeling trapped here. Um, maybe you are feeling a bit lost. Uh, someone could be feeling like they lost their self-respect here. So this is about gaining your control here. You got on the pedestal, so does this hurt the relationship? So, Divine Feminines, if you're putting your Divine Masculines on the pedestal here, you need to ask yourself, is this hurting the relationship? Is this hurting you here? Is this the reason why you're feeling hurt and you're having some insecurities because um, we all need to heal. Nobody really on no pedestal. Okay, you just got to heal. So we can't put people on a pedestal because then you uh, set yourself up to be hurt. Okay, you set yourself up to bring forth maybe insecurities that you didn't even know you had. All right, and I'll be speaking from experience, y'all. Um, I go through things. I have been through things. You know, we learn and we on this journey together. So, um... Yeah, I think that is called insanity when you do the same thing over and over and then expect different results. It, you know, it's we got to learn here, okay? So you put yourself on a pedestal, all right? You know who you are, okay? And love gonna come in if you allow it to, if you allow it within yourself. Whether it comes from your divine counterpart, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, or soulmate, okay? It's, at the end of the day, we all want this, this, this right, this heaven, this God sent love, okay? This heaven sent uh, type of love here, um, you know? So, um, I'm getting to the age. You know, you get tired of going through things and be crying and depressed and all this stuff. You want to be strong so you can move forward so you can reach what we're all here to reach. And that is being loved and being loved. Okay? Because it's all about love. That's all that matters, y'all. God is love, so that's all that matters. All right? Okay, you got forgiveness, so forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward. All right, got new love here. So a new love or a recommitment to love is developing. All right, could be a new love within yourself that you're feeling for yourself. That's what I say, y'all. Let's feel it here. Then we have a recommitment to love with somebody else. Yeah. All right, here and now here. So your true love is already a part of your life. All right. You got the now here. So detach with love to clearly see the truth. Don't put nobody on a pedestal. Uh, yeah. See what's going on here. Okay. So you can heal. Use your intuition. Got intuition here. You already know the answer you seek. So use your intuition. Go slow here for the next week. Okay. Take your time. Get to know yourself more. Get to know um your divine counterpart a bit more here. Just go slow. Okay. You got a second chance. So this is not over. This relationship deserves to take a chance. But this is not over. Okay. So just use this time to heal and focus and stay focused. Okay. Alright. That's what my divine masculine says to me. You gotta stay focused. You gotta stay focused. I'm like, <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> Live for real. We gotta stay focused, y'all. We can't. can't do that like that, okay? Alright, let's get us. Uh, you know what, y'all? I ain't even getting the right book. Hold on. I gotta find my book. Hold on, y'all. Alright, y'all. So, let's see. I gotta find my little booklet. Let's get our. um Spiritual guidance message for the M and the F for the next week here. What is what is our message here on Twin Flame Journey Spiritual Guidance Message? 
for this journey that is full of wonderful, loving <laughs> surprises here. Eye opening. Healing surprises. Okay, let go and flow here. All right. So we got let go and flow here for the next week. Seven is number 27, 789 here. All right. Almost there. Mm -hmm. Let go and let flow. So your ego is resisting some aspect of life, trying to halt, slow, or control its formable force. Doing so is like trying to stop the ocean. It's exalting and silly because it can't succeed. Your spirit, on the other hand, embraces life head on and rides the ups and downs, the ebb and flow, and the shifts and changes of life with determination and courage. Notice in which areas your ego is holding on too tightly to the reins and resistance the flow and resisting the flow. Ask what am I trying to avoid? What or who am I trying to hold back or control? What am I fearfully managing rather than openly flowing with? It helps to answer these questions out loud. Once you know where your ego is resisting the flow of life, ask your spirit to step in and help you ride the wave instead. To help let go and flow, pick up a small object and squeeze it with one with your left hand. Continuing to squeeze it, try to pick up something new with the same hand. It's not possible, is it? Not unless, of course, you shake your hand free and let go of the object. So do. In fact, shake your entire body free of the rigidity that goes with resisting life here. Breathe in, dive in, and embrace all that faces you now. Your ego may be fearful and try to stop change, but your spirit is ready and able to gracefully handle all that that's coming toward you. Trust this and embrace the changes at hand, okay? So that is our spiritual uh, guided message for the next uh, week here, okay? All right, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines on this Twin Flame journey. I salute the Divinity in you all. I really hope that these messages will be helpful. I hope that they resonate. If so, please give me a like. Please subscribe. Please share. Please give. Um, please comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I wish you all much love, much peace, much happiness. Um, send you all love, light, and positivity. I salute the divinity in you all and i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all next time okay bye